Funny Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdigans Inc. And today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Oshinoko Chapter 123. So before I get into this recap and live reaction, let me just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because of course this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored and not we ain't sponsored by Shueisha and not we ain't sponsored by Manga Plus. And considering how much we promote Manga Plus on this channel, it's kind of surprising, right? But if you love what we're doing and want to help keep this operation alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more anime and manga content, whether it be news, analysis, or live reactions like this one, feel free to hit up our Cash App and PayPal. Links are in the description box below. So, well, last chapter, Goro and Serena finally, finally, finally revealed themselves um, to each other. And it's going to be very interesting to see where we go from here. So without further ado, let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us this week. And this chapter is titled Bad Move. Sensei, Sensei, you've always been this close. Why, why did you never tell me? Well, I wasn't sure until now. You dummy! I did my best, you know. I thought you'd find me if I used the idol name B. Kamaji. I was always looking for you, wondering if you were among the guests at the, um, at the event. I did my best, thinking that you might be there watching me. Well, I technically was. Let's see. Um... I was worried that you wouldn't find me because you'd long forgotten about Mama and B. Kamachi. I called the hospital, but they said you went missing. And then what? You died in that kind of place. Dude, this art, man. I know, Kitty, it's not fair. I'm spoiled by art. But my wallet is not as rich as my eyes are, unfortunately. Why? Why is my life like this? That's weird, but I'm sorry for making you feel sad trusted you, Aqua, but you did something that betrayed Mama. I thought I couldn't trust anyone in this world anymore. I haven't forgotten the reason I told the- um, wait, I haven't forgotten the reason I told the world about I and why I encouraged the director to make this movie was so I can avenge her. Goro has every reason for this, not just to avenge her, but- <laughs> That's right, Kitty. He was also murdered by the same mofo, so Aqua has every reason to kill this bitch. He does. Yeah, Serena um, loves Goro, and I can make you can make the argument that she she could have want could avenge them, and will have every right to kill him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But <laughs> Goro was actually killed by him. <laughs> So, he should be the one to kill this bitch, and Ruby slash Ruby Serena, you just need to stay out of it. <laughs> Let him get this kill. I know, Kitty. She's being stupid. She being stupid, Kitties. Just like you- Kitty, I know you want to play fetch, but now is not the time for that. You should see this cat of mine. He is looking at me and has this ball in his mouth. It is the cutest goddamn thing. Oh my god. I did a lot of terrible things and told many lies. Oh, I know, Kitty. They weren't very sweet little lies either. Um, because I had to avenge you and Mama. Every time it happened, my heart started to throb. Dude, this art is everything. And my stomach felt like it was getting heavier and heavier. Every time I lie, um, I feel like my I'm heading in a different direction from I, where I wanted to be. Gosh, this kitty, I swear, he is, he has a lot to say on this. You have a lot to say, huh, Key? You and your meowing, Jesus Christ, this cat. He's very vocal. Ruby, it doesn't suit you at all. But Mama said idols would lie. I and you are different people. Stop chasing your shadow. You need to just live your own life. You don't have to lie anymore. Oh, this light. I love how the, how Aqua's light is just like clearing up the darkness and drowning up the darkness. There you go. I the truth is, it was painful. I thought I had to um, lie brilliantly like Mama and smile all the time. I thought I had to be like her. Oh, this light, this light, this light. Oh my God. Oh God damn it. Oh, I'm gonna have to kill. 
I am going to be comparing this to Shonen no Abyss. I know I'm going to have to. It's all these, it's all these freaking idiots' fault that I'm going to be comparing this to Shonen no Abyss. It's not, it's not fair to Oshinoko. It is not fair. Um, I thought it had to be like her. I always think it'd be easier if I could just forget about her. Sometimes when I look at the fans, I'll, I'll remember the face of the person who killed Mama. Um, being an idol isn't always fun. The truth is, I think of oh, um. Uh, the truth is, I always think of unpleasant and dirty things. I know, Kitty, but I want to be loved, so I hide everything. My heart remains the same as uh, when I was in the hospital room, um, hating the world. You think that it's still okay? Are you fine with this, Ruby? I told you, didn't I? I'm your biggest fan. The person I adore is the girl who struggled in pain in that hospital room, but kept dreaming with her eyes sparkling. Back then, you were even more radiant than I. Aww. Oh, look, her eye is... Uh, the eye is back. This light is back in her eye. Aren't you glad? With that, Ruby's, with that, Ruby's back on her feet, and the movie can be made according to your plan. If you, if you like, you could take this opportunity, and she may be able to fly high again. But that's a bad move. I'm sure you know, but this is a clear failure caused by, by your naivety. In the end, you're not cut out for revenge, but I guess I can give you a little bit of sympathy. From your, uh, from your point of view, it'd be easier for you if she hated you, but... I believe you, Aqua. The girl you were a fan of back then will shine brighter than Mama. Oh God, this panel! This, pa <laughs> this panel is everything. Oh my God, it is. And yes, I will be comparing this to Shona No Abyss. Oh my God, I have to compare this to Shona No Abyss because of the metaphorical art. I have to. I have to. I have to. Oh my God, it's not as good, but God, it's beautiful. Oh my God, this is good. Also, I haven't forgotten those words. You said that you'd marry me when I turned 16, right? Sensei, I've already turned 16. Ooh, okay. Okay. I have to compare this to show and know this. First of all, the metaphorical art from, and also technically the story too, if you think about it. Aqua and technically Ruby as well have been going into an abyss similar to what we've seen in Shonen Abyss. It's just a different type of abyss. Oh God, it really is. Oh my God, it really is. <laughs> and there's no better. Oh, I wish there was something like a better fish. Oh God, I wish this would be a better fish. Oh my God, I would do. But that is, that is a Shonen Abyss thing. But the thing is though, is what Rio does in Shonen no Abyss in terms of the art, and this is despite the fuckery in that manga, what it has going for it is how Rio utilizes the metaphorical art, and we have the, like this darkness going into light kind of situation, especially when it seems like um, there, uh, where it feels like. Um, you know, Reiji is out of the, finally getting out of the fist, but what this is making me think of in particular is, um, when, um, oh God, do I want to say it is when, um, the recent chapters when Gen got out of, finally got out of the abyss? Yeah, that feels right. When Gen, yeah, this is like after um, Gen confessed about, I'm spoiling a deal with it. When Gen revealed that Yugo was um, was grooming him and he wanted to go back to the way everything was, um, you know, prior to him being groomed and just wanted to be, you know, friends with, Re you know, just play with Reiji and just have fun with Reiji like he used to and just be that innocent kid. That's what this is making me think of in terms of metaphorical art in a way. Oh God, that, yeah, that is what this is making me think of. Holy shit, that this, this is exactly what's making me think of in terms of metaphor, uh, metaphorical art. But is it as good as it? No. <laughs> Nothing is going on. And, oh my God, am I gonna say Ruby is kind of making me think of Chaco somewhat too? Maybe, maybe, but no, no, no. Chaco is more, Chaco, 
No, Chaco is a different beast. No. No. Yeah, this is more like a Gen... This is definitely more like a Gen situation in terms of the art. You can make the argument that could be like, um, like Chaco, um, but... Uh, Chaco's art, but nah. Um, because Aqua is going to go back into the darkness. But no, this feels like Gen. This feels like the whole thing with Gen. And this is going to be right before... Because Reiji is going back into the darkness um, uh, with... Uh, um, we'll, we'll see what happens this week. Going back to the uh, darkness thanks to fucking Chaco. Oh, God. But yeah, that's what this is giving me. That's what this is giving me. But I've seen people like flip the fuck out over the, the possible twin cess situation. As I said, mofo. Yeah, if this is going to be the reason why you quit reading um, Oshinoko, don't go... <laughs> this is nothing compared to Shonen no Abyss. I mean, for fuck's sakes. I just, I, as I just said, there's literal grooming in, um, in Shonen no Abyss. There is um, uh, psychosis in, um, in Shonen no Abyss. There's, um, there's a... Uh, prostitution there's um uh i think there's like if i remember correctly there's uh a, well yeah there's attempted incest yeah there is oh my god yeah there is <laughs> it, i'm telling you that manga is batshit crazy i've run but from what i've seen on social media they're trying to make this um, like on the same level of fuckery as like Shonen no Abyss and I'm just lo looking at these people like What the fuck? Oh shit. <laughs> no, no Go read Shonen no Abyss and you will see you will see what I'm talking about This is not an even close to Shonen no Abyss. This is not even close. Like, then there's um then there is Can I Live With You, um, which is Sasuke's um, new new manga. And in five chapters, it has outdone what Oshinoko is doing. Holy shit. <laughs> Can I Live With You is fucking batshit crazy. Oh my god, it is batshit crazy. Um, because there's been chapters about, like, about stalking, sugar daddies, um, molestation and, um, and strippers. Like, <laughs> Sasuke is fucking cooking. <laughs> I, I swear to God, go read Can I Live With You and go read Shonen No Abyss and you will understand, like, why I'm just baffled by Oshinoko, quote unquote, Oshinoko fans saying they're gonna drop this manga. No, you are nuts. If you think that this is right, if this is the right thing to do, but I'm gonna go back to what what God was saying here because I think this is very interesting. That um, about Aqua um, being naive in this, because this is one I'm not sure if the twin cest is going to happen. Is this? Um, aren't you glad with with that Ruby's back on her feet and the, um, and the movie can be made according to your plan if you like you can take this opportunity and she may be able to fly high again but that's a bad move I'm sure you know but this is a clear failure because caused by your naivety in the end you're not cut out for revenge I guess I can give you a little bit of sympathy from your point of view it'd be easier for you uh, for you if she hated you but mm-hmm yeah. But you know what? Before I forget, let's take a look at this. Let's take a look at this too. He's never he said that he would give it some serious thought. He never he said he would give it serious thought. He wouldn't he didn't say he would definitely marry her. So this will be very interesting. If he turns her down, ooh, 
This will be very, very interesting. I'm very curious what, what you guys think, huh? Because he said it's a practical, it's a practical plan, but, but we'll see. We'll see what he says to this. I, oh God. But this is what the God meant. This has got to be what the God meant by a bad move. I don't, I don't know if this is going to happen. If this does happen, holy shit, that will be ballsy. But I don't know. I don't know if this is going to happen. I'm very curious what you guys think. Do you guys think this will happen? Do you guys think this will happen? I know the shippers are, are losing their fucking minds. But do you guys think this will happen? Because we had this shit in Shonen. Let me be real with you. We had this shit have, um, in no Shonen No Abyss. And then uh, then it got like... Then it was a huge mindfuckery. Where... um. Spoiler, <laughs> it turned out that, like, everything was a fucking lie. It was like a huge, wait, what? What? Yeah, it was a huge troll. So it's like, is this going to be the case here? I don't know. We'll see what Aga decides to do. Let me know your thoughts in the, um... In the comment section below, do you think that there will be twin cest here? Or do you think, based off of what Goro said in the beginning, where he said that he'll entertain the idea, he'll, like, think about it when she turns 16, do you think that he's going to turn her down? This will be very interesting. I really hope, I really hope he turns her down. And she falls back into the abyss. Oh, please do it. Oh, God. Either way. Either... I'm going to say this, though. It, either option. They're going back into the abyss. Oh, God. I, I'm good. Again, I have, I'm comparing it to Shonen no Abyss. <laughs> you motherfuckers made me do this. <laughs> but, dude, either way, they are screwed. They are going back into this abyss. But... Aqua got it. Aqua, because of the path that Aqua is going on, he's got to turn her down. He's going to. I'm I'm betting on it. He's turn. He's going to turn her down. If I'm wrong, he'll I'll eat crow. But there's no way Aqua is going to do this. No way. He can't do that shit because he's he's going on. Remember, he's going on a very destructive path. He can't, and he doesn't want to take her down with him. That's the thing. I'm very curious what you guys think. Do you guys think that Aqua is going to um, say yes? Or because of what he's doing? Because remember what he said to Akane. He's like, I'm not doing this shit because I'm, I'm going down a very destructive path. I'm going to be killing a motherfucker and I'm, I don't want to take you down with me. That, and especially considering how important Ruby is to him, I don't think he's going to do it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys think. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdic and Zinc if you love what we're doing and want to help keep this operation alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more Oshinoko content. Few ways you could do that. Donate to our cash app, PayPal, Patreon. Purchase something off our Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend us on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.